All right, everyone. Chelsea Manning has been officially released from prison. Good. A long time coming. Shouldn't have been imprisoned, really, in the first place. Here's the thing. Uh, Chelsea Manning did deserve to go to jail, but the, the sentence was so fucking excessive for, for the kind of thing that was done, which is, yeah, some, some stuff was leaked. There was no harm done. There was no ill intent. It was an attempt to maintain accountability in the military and government level. They're talking about, oh, spend the rest of your life in prison. It's, it, it, yeah, technically it was espionage, but at the same time, it's like, you really need to be in prison for like 50, 60 fucking years for that? No. Uh, as for the other whistleblowers right now that the government continues to headhunt after, I think that Trump should pardon Snowden. Uh, even though Snowden did come out, I can't remember what he was remarking upon, and it sounded very, very strange. I think he was a, 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 talking about the intelligence agencies. Oh, they need to be able to do their job and stuff. It's like, bullshit, these groups shouldn't even exist. Uh, Julian Assange has literally broken no law because WikiLeaks doesn't actually hack anybody and just disseminates information, which then becomes public record, by the way, as soon as it's disseminated. CNN's lying when they say it's illegal to uh, read the WikiLeaks releases that happen from time to time. Uh, these people should be pardoned, too. Somebody who's attempting to maintain government accountability, who is attempting to keep it transparent, is just doing the job that the government itself pledges itself to on a regular basis. Every time someone's elected, they'll go, I'm going to have a transparent administration. I want to be very accountable. We, we need to hear, if something's happening that's wrong, we need to be told about it. And then they have all sorts of protocols in place to punish anybody that tries to do that. So the whistleblower's job is to force them to be accountable and transparent. That, by the way, doesn't end because Trump, who I happen to favor, is a president. Just because Obama's gone doesn't mean, oh, okay, now government can be opaque. No, it shouldn't be. It should be completely transparent. Their ability to classify things at a whim should be severely constrained, in my opinion. In fact, I wouldn't uh, be averse to a constitutional amendment to redefine that process so that it's, uh, it's easier for people to access what the government's doing. Hell, uh, I've got another suggestion. We should uh, implant all members of government as a prerequisite to being a public official. You should have a 24-hour monitoring system implanted onto your chest, which will record all audio and video, everything that you're seeing the public can see, and it'll be live-streamed on the Internet. Any American citizen can use their regular email, log in, and, and watch you on your day. That's what should happen. That's and, and they'll have a few little taskmasters at one office for specifically confidential arguments related to legal, uh, legal stuff. You know, lawsuits, corruption probes, something like that. They're talking about aliens or something. Then they'll have one small group of people that'll have the technology to shut it off within that one room so they can have like confidential meetings. And they have to like log when they go into the meetings, when they go out, you know, timetables and stuff. Why don't we do that? That'll help transparency. Yet we'll implant the bureaucrats with that too. So that we'll know exactly what they're fucking up to. They're meeting with a foreign head of state. You can watch that meeting. Fuck the press. Why would we need White House briefings? We'll know what's going on in the government. I'm not even joking when I suggest this. They shouldn't have a reasonable expectation of privacy when that privacy would entail potentially screwing the public. It should be a sacrifice that our elected officials have to make. They sacrifice their privacy in exchange for their large paychecks uh, and all of this other stuff and the ability to make laws. I think that's perfectly fair. Private citizens, their Fourth Amendment rights should be absolute. We should differentiate elected officials from civilian population. While they're an elected official, they should have no rights under the Constitution. Their right to bear arms is already limited. You know, do, do Congress people regularly show up with assault rifles, so-called, uh, you know, in, in the legislature? If they say something, can they not potentially be prosecuted, depending on the content of what they're saying? As far as states' rights go, it directly constrains federal-level politicians. So why should the Fourth Amendment be any different? Why should it be? I don't think it should be. I think that they should have that right denigrated while they're holding office because they're being paid for by the public taxpayers. If you have the ability to increase your own income and potentially jeopardize a whole country, people need to keep you accountable. I think that should happen. But uh, Chelsea Manning did nothing specifically wrong. Leaked state secrets, yeah, was uh, the result. Uh, here, why not use the Hillary Clinton defense? Hillary Clinton, you know, all sorts of uh, confidential material is released because she's fucking retarded. 
But she didn't mean to. She didn't have any ill intent. Well, neither did Manning. Neither, by the way, did uh, Julian Assange, Edward Snowden, any of these people. They should use the Hillary defense. These people should be more active on social media. They should uh, talk to the people. They should have, like, YouTube live streams every week. Say, oh, uh, what did I do fucking wrong? Look at Hillary Clinton. She got off scot-free. They investigated her for more, and they still let her go because no ill intent. Well, then why the hell are you, why the hell would you have an axe to grind against Edward Snowden for espionage charges or whatever? Oh, because he went to China and Russia afterwards. Yeah, there's no extradition treaty, you moron. As far as Manning goes, served the time already, uh, was pardoned. Good. One of the few things I agree that Obama should have done. Cuba deal and pardoning Manning are like the, uh, the glowing, uh, successes of his presidency. I mean, that's sad. The ACA is nowhere to be found on glowing successes of the Obama administration. Um, government transparency certainly wasn't his forte. He was a, the ultimate headhunter after journalists and whistleblowers. Hell, uh, he, was con- he was spying on journalists who were critical of him. He was, and that was revealed. You didn't hear about that in the press. I wonder why. Could it be because the journalists he was looking at, all the other networks didn't want to cover it because they didn't want that network to be named on their own news? Yeah, probably. It's a it's a commercial thing. Yeah, uh, Chelsea Manning, who's like a transvestite or transgendered or something. I, I can't remember if got surgery yet. Um, who you know, born male, now female. I think is like five two. So it's like you know, kind of fucked up, but did nothing wrong. And then WikiLeaks uh, was up to bat and actually did some fundraising through Bitcoin uh, to uh, uh, create some sort of investment for Manning uh, to be able to start a new life. Good. Yeah, I mean, does, I mean, should be getting back pay from the U.S. government for, for throwing her in jail for little to no provocation, which is basically what happened. They wanted to make an example of a leaker. That's all they wanted to do. It's, uh, it's fucked up. <clears throat> I'm going to say, we're going to have the most transparent administration in history. And then you're like, you know, as opaque as a block of granite. Someone comes along to make you transparent. And then you, you know, state secrets. Oh, it could have endangered the troops. It could have endangered X, Y, and Z. No, it couldn't have. Didn't endanger anybody. You're just fucked up. Obama's fucked up. Uh, It was a good thing that there were leakers and whistleblowers to keep him a little bit accountable. Remember the NSA shit? Yeah, thanks Snowden. Snowden patriot, not hero, of course, in my estimation. Um, Yeah. Some good stuff. Leakers and whistleblowers are good. We need more of them. We need them more now than ever, especially with regards to people like John McCain. Somebody needs to leak his uh, emails or something. That'd be funny. I wonder what weird shit we'd find in there. We'd probably find he's into, like, tentacles and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I, I remember the days in Vietnam. I learned to enjoy it in a sexual manner. I'd have my wife wrap my fingers with a bamboo cane and shove splinters into my toenails and stuff like that. He probably finds, he probably would find that that's what he's into. He's a warped and sick individual. That's about all. Peace out.